Welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. This week I'm going to be talking about Mary Anning's ichthyosaur. In 1811, Mary's brother Joseph came across a 1.2 metre long skull embedded in the cliffs at Lyme Regis, Dorset, in England. After searching some more, Mary and her brother found the rest of the animal's skeleton at a total length of 5.2 metres and hired workmen to dig it out. The local press reported it as a crocodile skeleton, since most people then still believed in the literal story of Genesis. After painstakingly cleaning the fossil, the Annings sold it to the lord of a local manor, who then gave it up for public display in London. The animal generated a lot of interest, and people began questioning what it represented. A series of papers were published on the fossil in 1814, describing it for the Royal Society, but the creature's classification kept changing. It was named Ichthyosaurus and bought by the British Museum. The skull was then transferred to the Natural History Museum, where it still is today. Thank you for watching, and I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Trumpet Plays, who recently did a video on how to be Benji Thomas. It's very funny, so go and watch it, and I'll leave a link in the description.